It's Ian from RTO. Welcome to another album artwork episode. And today we are looking at the artwork of thrash metal, heavy metal, whatever you want to call them, Megadeth. Again, one of the this is a show that came from doing an album ranking. Oh, got some interesting copies here, so let's have a look at them in a little bit more detail. So I went through their discography and I've they've done 28 albums in total, that includes compilations and live albums as such. So I thought, now yeah, we'll do them. Let's see where, where we go. So, coming at number 28, go to uh, 2000 and the album The World Needs a Hero. Um, not a particular favourite of mine. Okay, it's a bit of a parody on the Alien movie, of course, but uh, no, I don't want to see pictures of dead bobby bodies and skeletons coming out of it. No, not for me at all. Okay, we'll move on. So coming in at number 27, we go to the debut album, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Skull with stuff from Mad Max type thing and now again I don't really like it well I do have you noticed that the they changed their um, logo very quickly okay coming at number 26 we have a live album from 2002 Rude Awakening I don't like that cover either. I just don't find it eye appealing. Not very good at all. Not a good start, is it? Coming in at number 25, then we get a 1992 countdown to ex extinction. Uh, again, I don't particularly like it. I think it's horrible. Horrible colour cover. Shall we move on? They do get better, I promise. Um, coming at number 24, we go to 1994 and euthanasia. Yes, I don't want to see someone hanging babies on a, a washing line. I didn't like the idea of the uh, album cover. I didn't like the title of the album, but I liked some of the songs on the album. Yeah. Shall we move on? Uh, coming in at number 23. This is a uh, compilation album from 2014. Icon. That's a bit better. Okay, it's boring. There's nothing going on. But there's nothing gory about it. It just says Megadeth, Icon, and it even tells you what tracks are on it. Much better, thank you. Okay, coming in at number 23, this is a live album from 2013, Countdown to Extinction Live. It's a fast improvement on the Countdown to Extinction, but it's not much better, really. You don't get so much in these in a glowy colour. Okay, coming in at number 21, now technically this is not just Megadeth. It's the Big Four Live, which featured Metallica, Slayer, Anthrax, and a Megadeth. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, it come out as a DVD, but there's also a, a live album that goes with it as well, which is pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. Okay, then, coming in at number 20, another compilation, War Chest. From 2007. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not very keen on that. <laughs> Shall we move on? Uh, number 19 then from 2011-13. It's a little bit better I suppose. But not a great deal. 
At least you haven't got to say, you know, gory face. I don't know if they're headphones on him or chains. Well, I don't know. Bit different, I suppose. Okay, coming in at number 18, we go to the 1999 album Risk. A mousetrap. trap. <laughs> Yeah, not the best album, not the best cover. Okay then, coming in at number 17, got another compilation album here from 2002, still alive and well. I like the idea of that, I really do, I, 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 I get it. It was a case of where are they now, They're still there. So that's pretty good, I get that one completely. Okay, coming at number 16, that's one of the albums I've actually got. Uh, greatest Hits Back to Start. I don't know what. An atomic bomb going off. But it does what it says on the tin. Okay, coming in at number 15, got another live album, 2010, Rust in Peace Live. The old fashioned, on the, you used to get that at, at cinemas that used to do bands. Like Birmingham Odeon, Birmingham, the Hammersmith Odeon, used to have that on the side. Yeah, I don't mind that one. It's pretty good. Okay, coming in at number 14, another album I've got, the anthology Set the World Afire. I like that cover. Bit of Mr. Mustang giving it large. Pretty cool. I love that one. That's a not better one. Okay, coming in at number 13, going to 1988 for So Far, So Good, So What. Ah, it's not too bad. So it looks like something out of Mad Max. Okay, number 12 then. This is another compilation called Capital Punishment, the Megadeth Years in 2000. Well, yeah, it's alright. Got the roulette board and everything. I don't mind that actually. One of the better ones. Okay, coming in number 11. We go to 1997 now. To the Cryptic Writings. Yeah. It's alright. Bit more pleasant to the eye. Okay, now we get into the, the ones that are good. The top 10 are all really good ones. I like these album covers. So coming in at number 10, from 2009, we have Endgame. Pretty dramatic type thing. I like the colour bit at the end with the, uh, where they're adding to the light, that orange red glow. Pretty good, I like that. Okay, coming in at number 9, we go to 2007, to the United Abominations album. Nice and colourful. The angel with the weird eyes, the metal guard type person. Pretty good. I'll go with that. Okay, coming in at number eight, go to 2004. For the system has failed. An iconic figure with the skull and the sunglasses. And the politicians queuing up. What's on that list? I'll just have a quick look. Playing God. Ten, you know, they have to pay their dues. So we've got Playing God, 10K. Holy War. Yes, there's some of the names of their songs, isn't it? Yeah, I like that cover. Okay, coming in at number seven. This is a live album. That one night in Buenos Aires from 2007. Mr. Mustaine in full flow. 
great colour. All hair and Yeah. Coming in at number six then, we go to nineteen eighty six and the piece sells who's but who's buying cover. If you notice at the beginning we've got the other shot where the bomb's gone off and he looks around and goes, Oh, what's happened here? Yeah, it's uh, a quite an iconic metal cover, isn't it now? One of the most iconic covers. Okay, coming in number five. This is the most current album of yet because we've got the new album coming out later this year and I couldn't find any artwork for it yet so I haven't been able to include it. This is Dystopia from 2016. Same sort of vein of seeing this sort of thing on other album covers. We've got them little things on one of the um, Dream Theatre cover. But I like that. That's pretty cool. I like that cover. Okay, coming at number four, we go to another compilation that came out in 2019. Warheads on Foreheads. I think that's quite good. <laughs> Quite a bit of a laugh. I mean, would that aircraft take off with all their missiles on it? <laughs> okay, coming in at number three from 2013, Super Collider. I love them colours. That is pretty cool. Bit different cover for them, but I like the colours on it. Really rich colours, very bold. Okay then, coming in at number two, we got a 1990 for Rust in Peace. Very iconic cover again. It's got all the world leaders sitting there. Very iconic. So my number one. Well, this album only came out last year, and it's called Unplugged in Boston. I've never heard the album. I can't imagine... Uh, Megadeth Unplugged, mind you. I must listen to it one day, but I do like the cover. Part of the Boston skyline. And I've been to Boston. And the one in the right hand corner is the Prudential Building, which I've been up and had a drink in. It's quite funny when you're sitting there. It's on the flight path in from Logan Airport, and you look. And we it was at night. We went in there for a drink. I'll tell you who it was. It was me and Mastermind Dave. We was in Boston. We went up there for a drink, and we're sitting there merrily having a drink. And this plane just literally came by the window. Freaky. Well, it was a little way away, but you know what I mean. You saw this plane. Because you <laughs> after you have to open up all the. Uh, when you're going into land, you have to pull up the flaps and you know the wind of things. And you looked in there, and you could see all these people. <laughs> That's how close it was. You could actually recognise people sitting in the plane. But I like that picture. Yeah, very very good. Okay, that's all for this one. Um, I'll be back later, eight p.m. tonight, for the live stream. I just wish Rocky would be asleep like that when it's live stream, but he's not a morning dog. He likes to sleep all morning, and then he'll, he'll wake up round about one, stretch his legs, go back to bed, and that's why at night he's, he's just full of beans. But then again, he is 11, so he's allowed to. So we'll be back later, so I'll see you later. Take care for now. <laughs>